In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Dear brothers and sisters, the children of the Muslim Ummah, welcome to the summary of Quranic orders and instruction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In other words, list of do's and don't in the 11th part or 11th juz or in 11th para of the Quran, which consists of surah number 9, surah Tawbah, the repentance. Inshallah, we will cover from verses 94 to the end, 129. Surah Tawbah, revelation number is 113. It was revealed in Medina. We also cover, inshallah, surah number 10, surah Yunus, and from verses 1 to 109. The, from the revelation point of view, it is surah number 51. It was revealed in Makkah. As well as we will cover part of surah number 11, surah Hud, from verse 1 to 5. And the revelation number for this surah is 52. It was revealed in Makkah. Total, inshallah, we will be summarizing 150 verses. Allah says, there are some people who hold fast to their faith and spend gladly in the path of Allah in order to draw closer to Allah. At the same time, some people consider spending in the path of Allah is a burden on them and with very unhappy heart. These people are never sincere to the believers. They are waiting for troubles. They cannot escape the grip, the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those muhajireen and ansar who were at the forefront of bringing Islam and those who followed them wholeheartedly and they set a good example of obedience to Allah because these good acts, Allah will crown them with his pleasure and Allah will make them live in the garden of eternity of Jannah or heavens. Spend in the path of Allah, it will purify you and make your life better, i.e. on the straight path. Remember that Allah accept the repentance of his servants and also accept their charity. Bless are those who repentance and charities are accepted by Allah, your actions and deed, Allah and his messengers and the believers will see them. Then you have to appear before the one from whom nothing is hidden, i.e. from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There will be a fair price for your actions and the deed. The place of worship is the mosque. Its foundation is based on taqwa and piety from the first day. And it is inhabited by the people who likes to be pure. Allah loves those who purify themselves. If you want to bargain trade for your life and your property, then bargain with Allah. And when Allah commands an order, then come with your life and your property. The glory of those who trade their lives and property in the hands of Allah is something else and unique people. These people want to return to Allah again and again. These people who pay homage to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, these people who sing His praises roam around the earth for the sake of Allah and bow and prostrate before Allah. These people who enjoy good and forbid evil and observe the commandments of Allah, such are the true believers. The good news for, from Allah is for them. Be aware of the wrath of the Allah and be with the righteous people. The way of true people, believer, is not that they should be indifferent to the religion of Allah and engage in their own thoughts. Believers should always 
be concerned that no opportunity to earn good deeds should be missed by them. And they should be on the lookout for the best way to present the best deed before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not miss any opportunity to gain a deeper understanding of the religion Islam, even if it means leaving home. And when you return home, come with the passion to take care of your nation. Do not disregard and disrespect the Messenger of Allah. Love the prophets and the hardship of the believers were hard. It hurts the hearts of the prophets. The prophets were anxious for their nation's success. The prophets were kind and compassionate to the believers. If you disregard the prophets, you will ruin yourself. Nothing will harm them. Allah is sufficient for the prophets. Wherever you look and whatever you look at, you will see the signs of Allah. Recognize your Rabb by these signs. Those who do not expect to meet Allah in the hereafter are lost in the life of this world and they rejoice in it and are heedless and unaware of the sign of Allah and recompense of their bad deeds, sin which will lead them to hellfire. And as for those who believe and do good deeds, then Allah guide them to the path of success through their faith. They will be in paradise in the hereafter. They will be in Jannah. Remember, Allah in every situation, in every state, so that when a hard time comes to you, call upon him while standing, while sitting, while lying down on continuous basis. And when Allah removes the calamity, they behave as they have never called upon to Allah for help during bad or difficult time. Let not the pleasure of few days of this world distract you from the hereafter. The likeness of the life of this world is as the rain from the sky. So the vegetation of the earth become very dense and green. The farmer were convinced that the, their produce was now in their possessions, in their hands. Suddenly, Allah's command came down and the whole field was destroyed as if there was nothing there yesterday. Indeed, in these incidents and the example, these are the signs for a person who ponder and think. Allah is calling to the destination where peace is security. Allah guides whom he wills to a straight path. Those who do good deeds will be rewarded with good results. On that day, their faces will be bright as far as those who immerse in the evil, their faces will be dark and black as the night in the hereafter and they will have a bad end. O oh, people, a reminder has come to you from Allah, your Rabb. In it is the healing of disease of the heart, and it is the guidance and the mercy for the believers. This is the special grace and mercy of Allah on which you should all rejoice. It is more than all the treasures of this world. Appreciate it. Hold it to your chest. Losing it, the greatest deprivation and the greatest loss. Become friends of Allah. Believe and think of avoiding the wrath of Allah. You will have no sorrow and no fear. Rather, happiness and good news will welcome you both in this world and in the hereafter. The whole history of the prophets from Nuh alayhi salam to Musa alayhi salam show that the prophet always came with clear sign to awaken the nation and their nations continued to deny them. 
see the end of the rejecting nations and learn a lesson. Remember, believers may face severe persecution and severe trial. This is nothing new. It has been happening in every age. In such situation, trust in Allah. Ask Allah for help. Establish your salah. Be steadfast in your religion. And do not change your path out of fear of the oppression or in the fear of their glory. Believe that Allah has good news for the believers. There is good news in this world and good news in the hereafter. Here, those who cause mischief, corruption in the land, those who misled men with their wealth, and those who oppress men, for they still have a chance to repent and improve. But when their time comes, then their repentance will not be accepted. The fate of the Pharaoh is a good example for every such tyrant. No matter how much people doubt your religion, be steadfast in your faith. Stand firm and stand fast in the religion. Do not come close to politism. Do not call on any other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No one can benefit and loss to you. The truth has come from Allah. Now it is up to you to decide for guidance. If you want the decision of the hereafter to be in your favor, then book of Allah, the Quran, and be patient. Remember that Allah is the best judge. Everything is explained in detail in the book of Allah, the Quran. The straight path has been clear. Worshipping Allah, ask forgiveness from Allah and turn to him. Allah will give you a good life in this world and as a reward in the hereafter who deserve. Fear Allah. No one's word are hidden from him. This is the end of this chapter or the para. Salute.